So today I'm reviewing uh, Versace Eros. So this, it, most people know this fragrance. Very famous, very, it's a men's, uh, men's fragrance. Um, Eros, uh, Eros is uh, the Roman um, deity, the Roman god of um, love, I suppose, love and desire. And the Versace brand wanted to create a fragrance that was unique, that was attractive, that was, um, you know, something to talk about, something to become popular, which it did. Um, and I, I was actually not sure what to expect from it at first, because uh, I reviewed Versace Eros Pufam, for women, the women's version, on the channel uh, before, and I was not a big fan. This is the female version. This very shiny, hard to see card of Versace for women. And I wasn't a fan of this because um, I thought it was very simplistic. I thought it spelled like uh, bath soap, body wash, you know, something, it, you know, too simple for what they were charging for it. So I was figuring uh, maybe the uh, original, the men's version, maybe it's going to be the same. Maybe I'll be disappointed again, but I was wrong. So, uh, I'll, I've tried this before, but I'll put it on again, and I'll give you the full rundown of, uh, what this is. So, yeah, this is very nice. This is, so, a lot of men's fragrances I'm, I'm not kind of impressed by, because most of them are fougère fragrances. Fougère is, uh, aromatic, herbal sort of fragrance. Sharp, clean, yet some, you know... Just sharp and aromatic herbal. So a lot of men's fragrances smell like that. So it's like, all right, another one is doing this. So it's not that special. So I thought that of this at first, but then I realized it was wrong. So this is a very nice fragrance. So uh, conveniently, uh, it has the notes on the card here. The, the top notes here are mint oil, uh, lemon from Italy, and uh, green apple. And when I when I first put it on, um, you know, the mint stood out to me, the lemon, those are the typical things that you will find in many men's fragrances. So I was thinking, all right, this is going to be somewhat basic, maybe overhyped, overrated. Um, but then from those notes, it really kind of blossoms into this other creature. It's it's very nice. It so the middle notes, according to this card, are uh, tonka bean, ambroxan, and geranium. So uh, ambroxan is a uh, synthetic element. It's a chemical derived from uh, another ingredient called um, what's it called? I know the French word. It's amber gris, which means uh, gray amber. So the gray amber is or ambergris. That's it. Ambergris is a whale product. It comes from whales. Uh, it's essentially like, I don't know, whale excrement or more uh, of a gallstone from whales. But anyway, these things wash up on the beach. They're very musky. Um, and I suppose people in laboratories are able to derive ambroxan from gray amber and uh, create this very delightful um, uh, deep, warm note, a uh, very unique note, um, and it, it, get, it, it adds like this bar of solidness, bar of warmth into the perfume right away. You know, you get these really light, crisp, the green apple, the lemon, the mint, then you hit this just like a sandbar of just warmth and solidity in the middle of the, uh, the perfume, the heart note here along with the tonka bean, which also adds to this warmth, which is very nice. And then the sweetness, there's some, some men's fragrances don't have much sweetness, but this one does not too much, but it comes from the geranium, very natural floral sweetness, very nice. And then, uh, comes down into Madagascar, vanilla, vetiver, oak moss, cedarwood, and, uh, 
specifically cedar wood from Virginia, apparently, um, along with Atlas cedar. So all of those are very warm notes. You know, cedar is very natural, very woodsy, uh, oak moss as well. And then you got that Madagascar vanilla, which adds a little bit of sweetness along with the geranium. And yeah, this is a very interesting fragrance um, for men. Very complex, actually, even though there's not too many notes in terms of number of notes, uh, each note plays a very valuable role in Versace Eros here. Um, and you can kind of see the Medusa head here. Uh, I think I said Roman, but I meant Greek when referring to Eros. I believe Eros was ancient Greek deity. And they used that because they wanted something, you know, they wanted this to be a symbol of desire uh, and attractiveness. And this is definitely uh, one of the more attractive men's fragrances. Um, I like that it's not too simple and it's not too complex. It's very balanced. The, it's refreshing and yet warm at the same time, which is something that's hard to do. Usually perfumes go too far in one direction. Um, but this is very balanced. I can definitely say that this is uh, worth the hype. I know this is a very popular perfume ever since it came out in 2012. Um, but it, you know, it's still popular today and I can see why. And another thing that I like about it is that it's very long lasting. Some a lot of fragrances don't uh, last that long. Like another, like the qual main one, well, I have many qualms, but the main qualm that I had about the female version of this fragrance, very weak, very one note, very weak, diluted, not impressive at all. Um, but the men's version, which came out first, I believe, I think the female version came out in 2014, the male version, the original was 2012. So. The original, very long lasting, very potent. Um, you know, I only put a spray or two on my wrist here and I could smell it, you know, quite a, quite, quite far away and it lasts a long time. Um, very good uh, projection. And I, I, I think most people would enjoy this fragrance because it's so inoffensive. I mean, most people like lemon, green apple, mint, vanilla, geranium floral notes in general. All, all very agreeable, all very nice and balanced. There's nothing that stands out too much on its own. There's nothing that is rank, I suppose. Um, this is a... This is... I can imagine that this is a very versatile fragrance. It could be, you know, you could probably go out to the bar with this. You could probably just go out with uh, for the day wearing this. Maybe to a formal event maybe a more casual event. This is um, going going out for a date, you know, this would be a good option. And it's also, it has very good unisex potential because despite kind of, you know, the umbrox and the cedar, oak moss, these more heavy uh, notes, that, that sweetness that it has from the geranium and vanilla really make it a really um, perfect unisex fragrance in my opinion. And um, the silage is also pretty good. I would say moderate. Um, it's not like a bomb or anything. It has a nice moderate range. People can definitely tell that you're wearing it, especially if you put on a lot. Definitely very noticeable fragrance. And it's, uh, yeah, it's very balanced. And this is definitely worth the price. I think, I wanna say, it's not that expensive. I think it's slightly less than a hundred dollars, maybe eighty dollars. I'm not sure about the exact price, but this is definitely worth the price. I uh, compared to the women's version, which I did not think it was worth the price at all. Um, but I pretty much like everything about this this original Versace Eros. It's um, you know, it might become one of my regular fragrances. It's very nice. Um, I like how the base notes and the middle notes become more and more prominent the longer you wear it, it becomes warmer. You know, the mint notes and the lemon are still there, but they just be they become 
they kind of melt and become warmer. They mix with that ambroxan, they mix with the cedar and the vanilla. Very nice. Uh, I can't think of anything bad to say about this fragrance. It's just a very delightful fragrance, and I can see why so many people like it, why it's popular, why it's worth the hype, so. Um, that's pretty much what I have to say about Versace Eros um, for men. Uh, if you have any opinions on this fragrance, you can leave those down in the comments below. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for this.